all this waiting and I didn't know and I didn't want to celebrate until the contract was signed. That's like, I, don't, I never want to get my hopes up, so I was like, maybe I don't know. Um, but when I did get the phone call from my manager, I just like sat the phone down and I was like, oh my god, this is totally a god thing because it came at the perfect time in my life and I was just yeah. blown. I mean, my mind was blown, and I'm so honored and thankful. And, and Simon, because I've seen, uh, I saw very early footage of you uh, interacting with and interacting with Demi, and I, it made me laugh because I could tell she was genuinely making you laugh with her insults and her uh, her comments. And what, did it surprise you? Did you know that going in, or was it a surprise that you would have that sort of relationship? When we spoke on the phone, you know, we spoke first spoke about Demi coming on the show. She was really sweet, and I thought, oh, she's going to be really nice and sweet. What a lovely girl. And then day one, it all changed. <laughs> like, well, day one, I like saw immediately. Your uh, it was uh, it was quite surprising. But you know, if I'm comfortable with someone, it means that I can argue with them um, and I can laugh. So I'm obviously comfortable with both these girls they give as good as they get. And that's what we wanted. That's why we, we wanted a higher person. Okay, Whitney, from, from at Rock the Life, do you see yourself in any of the contestants? And how do you, how does that make you feel as a judge when you do? Well, I can totally relate to the contestants, definitely. You know, I've, you know, been in this business I was very young, so I know what that feels like to want something so bad and to have a dream and a passion for it. And um, that's just what makes the show even more special. And, if, and you can see sometimes you let them down easy, and then sometimes you just have to be really direct. And yeah. that's probably what you were talking about. You get a feel for who they are as people as well. So it must be really challenging for both of you being performers since you were very young and having to tell these young people. Yeah, you can see that, you can see. And how rewarding it is when you get to say yes with someone like Julian. Um, okay, we have another from Twitter for Simon. Trini, with two eyes, 96. Uh, if you weren't famous, Simon, what would you, what would you like to be? If you weren't famous, what would you like to be? I don't know what the other choices are. Famous? Well, most of my, most of my life, I spent, you know, behind the cameras. I, I ran a record label. I, I, I was 17 when I went into the music business, so this, that was my, my day job. Um, and I was really, really, really happy doing that as a job. And I was offered TV shows, and I always used to turn them down. Because I always thought the idea of being, you know, in front of the camera would be horrendous. And then I did it, and I loved it. <laughs> <laughs> and I wouldn't change anything else now. I mean, it's, it's a great job. Yeah, you get the attention, right? I loved it. Right. <laughs> um, okay, LA from Twitter, at MusicLover34. What's it like when Demi and Simon fight? Is it awkward for you, or is it like, oh, here we go again? Here we go again. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, yeah, I'll take number two. Here we go again. <laughs> it's actually quite entertaining, you know what I mean? Because it, it's a sign of comfort. You know, we have an amazing chemistry. Uh, we have a lot of fun. And, and you know, Simon leaves himself wide open for people to just go in. And, and did you, you know, as as of the returning judge, did you give them any sort of any sort of uh, hints about working with Simon or?